welcome to another edition of Dr. John's Diaries, available only on RLO TV. We're here at Mrs. Maloney's class and we're going to meet the children, have a chat with them. We're in the uh, Our Lady Quinnipiac School in Janesborough, founded in the early 50s, and uh, it's been the national school here for quite some time. In fact, we're going to show you a photograph. 1951, the school was originally opened, and here is a photograph of some of the teachers back in 1976. If you take a close look at that, you may recognize some of the faces. And that's the Board of Management and Staff Members, 1951 to 1976. And uh, we'll meet some of the staff a little bit later on. But meanwhile, let's wander around the school and see who we have here this morning. Are you all in good form here this morning? Yeah. Now, what class are we in? Miss Aloni. Miss Aloni. Yeah, Miss Aloni. Your name is Mark, is it? Yeah. What's your second name? Mark de Borca. Mark de Borca. And how old are you? What? How old are you? Four. Four. What interests have you? Have you got hobbies and things like that? What? Have you got hobbies? No. You play soccer? Sometimes. You sing a song or anything? I do sing songs. Have you got a song for me? I don't. If you sing songs, why aren't you going to sing a song for me? Because I don't know, I don't, I, I can't think of a song. What song does he sing? Does anybody know what songs Mark sings? What's that, what's that called? Hockey Biagabana. And what does that mean in English? I don't know. You don't know? All right, now who's going to sing a song for me so? Who'll sing a song? Right, will you sing a song for me? Your name is James. Yeah. What's your next, your other name? James Reeves. And where are you from? James what? James Reeves. And where are you from, James? Covert Park. All right, what song are you going to sing for me today? Uh, Sakiva right. Come over here. Step over here. Come on over here. Now, will you all join in with him? All right, will you all join in with James when he sings it? Off you go. Everybody sit down now. Now, one, two, three. What's your name? I'm Lee. And where are you from, Lee? Um, Keys Park. Keys Park. Um, and do you like our Lady Quinnipi School? Um, yes. What's your teacher like? Is she all right? Is she very tough? Mm-hmm. Is she? She's tough. I think she's Who's smart. the girl at the back down there? What's that girl's name? Um, Kelly McMurlow. Kelly, and what does Kelly do here? Um, she colours and she, no, she sings she's, songs. Kelly says that's not her name at all, is it? It is. What's that her name? Two Kellys. Well, that's Karen. No, see the, the tall girl down there, the blonde girl. Is she, she your girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. All right, come over here. Where's he gone? <laughs> Take a look at that, Fintan. Have a look. He's gone into the corner. <laughs> come up again, so she's not your girlfriend. Hold on a second. Okay, you're going to sing a song for us, are you? Come here. What song are you going to sing now? A song you. All right, everybody join in this. One, two, one, two, three. Song you. Are you all going to join in? Touch your organ. One, two, three, everybody. Right, give yourselves a big round of applause. Bula boss. And boys, you can sit down again now. You go over to your seat. Now we go over here. We'll see this. Uh, your name is Keith, is it? What's your second name? What's his second name? He's shy. Keith Lillis. How are you, Keith? How's your nanny keeping? She's in good form, she is. He's gone very shy. We'll go over here now and see. Crystal. What's your second name, Crystal? You're going to show you. Kiss Crystal Fitzpatrick, your girlfriend, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Gone again. I didn't think it was the same fella. Have you got a boyfriend? And your name is Anna. What's your second name? Anna the Banana. Anna the Banana. Do you... <laughs> Anna the Banana. Do you sing a song, Anna? What song have you got for me? No. You haven't? What's your favourite band? Do you like the Spice Girls or Boys On? Spice Girls. Do you like Boys On? 
But Spice Girls. Prefer the Spice Girls. It's <laughs> Is Claude your boyfriend? Claude is a girl's name. How could Claude be her boyfriend? Right now, who's got a joke for me? Has anyone got a joke? Um, a good joke. The witch? Oogie googie gala. Oogie googie gala. No, who's got a real joke? A knock knock joke? Who, who, have you got a joke for me, Mark? What's your joke? My name is Mr. Bitonky. <laughs> Generation gap, I've lost out in that one. Anybody else got a knock knock joke? Me. Come over, we'll go down here. See the knock knock jokes. We must get a shot of the old, show you your badge there. Come over here and we'll have a look at the badge. Get a close up of that. That's Our Lady Queen of Peace School here in Janesborough. And the school opened in 1951. That's even before I was born. Long, long time ago. Now, who's the girl to put up her hand? Rachel. Come over, Rach. What's your, what's your second name? Um. Rachel Sullivan. And where are you from? Around the pool wing. Lovely stuff. Now, what's the joke you have for me? Mag with shots. Was it? Do you know who made those? See those? Who made those? She did not. I made them. I made those many years ago. I made those and brought them into the school. See how good they are and they still lasted. They're there about, what, 15 years? We're going to meet the teacher here in a few minutes, but I want to meet the rest of you. Nicola, tell me about yourself. How old are you? Oh, Nicole. Oh, it's Nicole. I thought it was Nicola. Nicole, Nicole, tell us about yourself. How old are you? Um. She's four, is she? And she, she, look at this. Look, she's got her um, she's got her nail varnish on. See her nail varnish. Is that your favourite colour? She must have been on a date last night, were you? No. You weren't on a date? No. Have you got a boyfriend? No. Yeah. All right. Now, we'll go over to Ian. How are you, Ian? Okay. How old are you, Ian? Mm. Turn over there and we'll look at the camera. Look at the camera there. Get a good look at the camera. Right, tell us, do you follow soccer or anything? Yeah. What's your favourite soccer club? Um, in the field. In the field. You love kicking around the ball, do you? And who's your favourite singer? Um, me. Do you like Robbie Williams? Yeah. Now, anybody else going to sing a song for me on their own? Come over here to Kelly. What's your second name, Kelly? Kelly Sachse. You love sucking your thumb, do you? <laughs> if you keep sucking your thumb, it'll fall away. I don't care. You don't care? You, you won't grow another one? No. Have, have you got a song for me? What's the song? I don't know. I don't know. Does anybody know that song? I don't know. I don't know. Who sings it? The Spice Girls. You're not singing that. Shane. Sit down, Shane. Are you going for a walk or something, are you? No. I thought you were going to head off for a walk. What's your second name? Waylon. And where are you from? Up the hill. Up the hill, up the road there. From South Hill? Up there. Oh, up there. From Janesborough, is he? Yeah. Listen, who's your favourite soccer club? Manchester United. Manchester, and they, they won last night. They've gone through to the final, are they? They beat Juventus last night. Now, have you any songs for me? No. Or a joke? Any knock-knock jokes? Knock-knock, who's there? Knock-knock, who's there? Uh, I don't know. Banana head. Banana head, yeah. <laughs> Joining me here is the class teacher, Mrs. Maloney. Uh, thank you for inviting us here today. You're welcome, Jan. Now, tell us a little bit about the uh, junior infants. Is it difficult to teach a class of four-year-olds? It is, because it's very hard to keep their attention. As you can see, their attention span is very, very short. So everything has to be done through play to keep their interest going. And subjects, we have about 12 different subjects, but the subjects are merged into one another. So they don't realise they're actually learning when they are, because it's mostly through play. And what subjects, how many subjects are junior infants? Infants expected to learn over the 12 months well, at school? They have all the subjects that you would have right through the curriculum up to sixth class. They have Irish, English, maths, history, geography. History and geography will be done as in environmental studies and social and personal and health education. They would also have social studies and religion. They would have all the subjects you would have in all the other classes. And of course, have they a long day? What time do they start in the morning? They start at 9 and they get a break at 11 for 15 minutes and they go through till 20 to 1. And they're finishing at 21 for the day. 21 for the day. All right. We'll go through the, the 
class member will say and we'll have a chat with them and we'll drop back to you a little bit later on. Thank you. All right, we've got Glenn over here, spelled G-L-E-N-N. -N. Where are you from, Glenn? Save us. And how old are you? Four. And where are you living? Tell us from St. Patrick's Road. St. Patrick's Road, just up the road there. Yeah. Now, have you got a favourite band? Who do you like to listen to? Do you like the Spice Girls and that? No. You don't like the, Who do you like? Robbie Williams? No. Uh, do you like uh, Big Tom and the Mainliners? <laughs> no. <laughs> Johnny McAvoy? <laughs> Any of you ever hear of Larry McAvoy? No! Or Brendan Shine? No. What about Daniel O'Donnell? Any of you like Daniel O'Donnell? Do you ever hear of Daniel O'Donnell? No. Never heard of him? No. Do you ever hear of Daniel O'Donnell? This is Dale. How are you, Dale? Where are you from? Um, Markovich Drive. Markovich Drive. All right, have you got brothers and sisters? Only a sister. What's her name? Tanya. How old is she? She's a baby. I don't know what her... Oh, she's only a small baby? Yeah. I don't... Um, and how old are you? About four or five? Four. And who's your favourite singer? I don't know. You have no favourite ones. You listen to everything. Do you, who listens to me in the radio in the morning? Me. And who listens to Wally? Me. Who thinks Wally's good? Me. What, what do you like about Wally? Mm. Who likes Wally? Show me your hands. Mm. Show me your hands. Who likes Wally? Drop your hand. You like Wally. We'll go up to Jody. Hiya, Jody. What do you like about Wally in the morning on the radio? Nothing. You, who'd like him as a boyfriend? Who'd like Wally as their boyfriend? <laughs> oh, yeah, coming over to Stacey. Stacey, you're going to sing a song for me? Come on over here. Give her a big round of applause. Come on, she's going to sing a song. Come up here, Stacey. Now, one, two, three. Off you go, whenever you're ready. What song is she going to sing? Where is Love? Will you sing that one? Just a small bit, a line or two of it. Will somebody start it with her? Here we go. Where? No, I want to sing Barney. Okay, sing Barney. We'll take Barney. Would you all like to hear Barney? All right, who likes Barney? Hands up. All right. You watch it in your television? How many of you have got television? Me. I have two televisions. Do you know that when I, when I was your size, when I was your size, we had no telly. There was no telly made. Telly was only invented later on. What would you think it would be like living without a television? Could you survive living? Do you, man, do, you imagine, do you imagine you could live without your telly? No. no. Why? Why? Do, we'll have to go off to that girl in a minute. Meanwhile, we'll go back to Stacey. I think she's ready. Are you ready for the Barney song? All right. Here we go, the Barney song. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Would you say you love me too? Give her a big round of applause. Well done. What's your What's your second name, Stacey? Um, Stacey Katigan. And where do you live? Um, in Crow Park. You have a lovely tie. You have a big knot in your tie. Show me. Let me make it smaller for you. No, that's better. Dr. John's Diaries here at Presentation School. We'll take a break. Join us in a moment. Great heating bargains from Buckley's Builders for Ladders on the Valley Simon Road. Grant compact oil boilers from £355. PVC oil tanks from £165. Roll of 6-inch fiberglass, £14.55. Contact Tom Hogan, Tim Hanley or myself, David Walsh at Buckley's Builders Providers on the Bally Simon Road, 4061 416 For First Communion or Confirmation, it's the three steps to heaven. Limerick, William Street, McGovern's. For selection, style and service. Yes, for generations it's always been and still is McGovern's Outfitters to Gentlemen and Their Sons. The Glen Tavern for that relaxing drink in pleasant surroundings. Function room available for parties, anniversaries and 21sts. Take a good tip and go to the Glen. 
RLO TV. What does it mean to you? To us, it's a new member of the family, giving you the opportunity to actually see and hear your favorite DJs and presenters in the flesh. Being up to date with all the local events and stories that affect all of our lives every day. Giving you entertainment from every corner of Limerick City and throughout the county. Covering all your local sports games, from football to rugby, hurling to camogie, and whatever you're into. Interviewing all the sports stars, both from home and abroad. We cater for all ages, from young to old. All around original programs professionally produced in our Limerick studios. And our goals? Getting you in the picture, making you the stars. After all, we all deserve to have our face on the telly. With a full professional production team in every studio, you're guaranteed top quality programs, including your favourites and a few surprises every day. So come on, why not let us be a part of your family? Because you're already a big part of our family. Radio Limerick One. And now, RLO TV. We're now going to look at some of the projects that children have done here in the school, uh, in the class here as well. As you look across the shelves, they make their own books, their own story books. They put their own pictures into them, as you can see. Each of them design their own story, make up their story, and put the whole thing together on their book. They have their own shop, as you can see. They bring in their own little bits and pieces to make up their shop. It gives them an idea of how to deal in shops and what this shop is known as the Tesco supermarket and they have all their projects up here on the walls. Their uh, drawings and their paintings are all over as you can see. Rachel, Shane, Andrew, Shauna, Kelly, Anna, Crystal Lee, Mark, Stacy, James and Keith, they're all here as well. They have a pets corner, all talking about pets and uh, uh, cats, that's their cat section here. Poppy of course is Poppy the Parrot with Paul Hogan and uh, they're big fans. That's a dog. There's Poppy over there. That's Poppy over there, isn't it? No. See that flying fella over there? Yeah. That's him. That's Poppy, yeah. the parrot. And of course, if you look around all their school books, and which is a new addition into four-year-olds, it shows you how advanced schools have now got. They've got their computer. Four-year-olds are now learning to use computers compared to the old day with um, a little uh, book, copy book and a pencil. They're now going in to computers. And you can look down, there's all their bags and their play section over. Who owns those buns? Who brought the buns in? Well, that's the bun and milk. You're going to enjoy that. And this is your playroom, is it? Is it? And this is, all you, this is all your play area. And this is your nature corner. We get a look at the... Look, look, let's look at the nature table. They have um, cones, a full range of different type cones. They have a collection of of conkers. Who plays conkers? Do you know how to play conkers? You put them on a string. You put a string through them and you bang them off the next person's con and if you break it you win. That's the conkers. They have a fine range of shells. Where do you get those? Where do the shells come from? The sea. Yeah, they come from the sea. Masks and of course a lovely collection of leaves. Now where do leaves come from? Yeah, but where do they fall down from? They fall down from trees. All right. I put them there. And of course, they have a collection. Where do you get feathers? Of chickens too. Of chickens. That's not a chicken's feather though. That's a peacock feather. That's a peacock. I'll put them back now in case they get, get lost. As you can see, they're all playing here. And what are you doing here? Are you having breakfast? You're having fried eggs and sandwiches and buns for your breakfast, are you? Yes. Now, who's making the tea? Somebody's after falling here. That's a seashell. If you put that to your ear, you can hear the sea. Yeah. Watch. Put it there where all the people can hear it. You put that up to your ear and you can hear. Listen, can you hear it? You hear the sea? No. We'll see, can I get into this seat, right? Do you think I'll manage to get in? And what would I have to do? Oh, geez, I can't. Hold on a second. Now, if I get stuck in here, who'll pull me out? All right, wait a minute. No. Oh, God, no. I'd have to sit up like this. Do you think the teacher would mind sitting like this? 
Now, what do you do when you come in in the morning in the school? I come in now with you. What do we all do first? I'm doing that. And what do I do next? Love a suicide because on show. Is that it? I have to go like that, is it? And what do we do? What? Love a trasna. What's love a trasna mean? Fold your arms. Fold your arms, right. I have my arms folded now. What do we do next? Go to sleep? Oh, you listen to what? Or to whatever's going on? Oh, yeah. Who listens to the teacher? Right. Now, who doesn't listen to the teacher? You all listen. Is there any bold ones here in this class? You're all bold. I think you're all bold at times, are you? You're all good, so. You're all very good. You're all very good, though. All right. Okay, sit down a minute. I'm going to try and get back out of this now. Do you think I'll get out of this? I'm going to put up your hands to think I won't get out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Put up your hands if you think I will get out. One, two, three, four, five. You're putting your hands up twice. You can't put two hands up. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can I get out? Oh, God, I'm stuck. Oh, my leg. I need a hand. Who's going to push my leg? Here. Come over here and push my leg out. That's it. Mind it now. Mind. Oh, that's it. Oh, hold it. Take it easy. Oh, I got it out. I'm out. Well done. Give yourself a big round of applause. Now, back to Rose. Rose, are you going to sing a song? Well, oh, yes. I know what I had to ask you. Why is it you think you, could, you couldn't live without your telly? Because I like to watch programs. And what would you do if the telly went off and couldn't, if, if this decided the telly company said, we're not going to put out any more programs, oh. we're switching off the telly, what would you do instead? See, I have another television up in my head. I know, but no, listen now, if I said the television company said they're putting out no more programs on any telly, and the telly was gone for good, what would you do instead of watching telly? I'd play around with my friends. Uh, and go out more? Yeah. Okay, now where's Shannon gone? She's back here. What song are you going to sing? Stop right now. Stop right now. Off you go. Stop right now. Thank you very much. I need somebody like a human touch. Hey now. Give her a big round of applause. That was Stop Right Now. Back into your seat. Now, has anybody got any funny stories for me? Right, this is James. What funny story have you got? I have a funny story. Mr. Bean goes in boys on. Hold on a sec now. We'll have to get loads of quietness. I think we'll, we'll have to get loads of quietness uh, for James. Right, because we can't hear him, you see. You won't hear him unless you stay quiet. What's your funny story? Mr. Bean in boys on. Oh, you saw the movie Mr. Bean in boys on? Yeah. <laughs> who, who likes Mr. Bean? What do you all like about Mr. Bean? Oh. Is he fun is he is he funnier than Wally? No, we didn't meet this guy. This is Lee. We have to go up to Lee. Where are you from, Lee? Um Keith Park, Limerick. Just up the road. And how old are you? Um five. And uh, do you enjoy going to school? Um yes. What do you like about school? Um I like when I'm colouring. And what do you normally colour at school? Um, pages. And what pictures would you draw now? Um, the spiders. Oh, I love drawing spiders, yeah? Yeah. You know, who's afraid of spiders? Daddy! Daddy! Girls are usually afraid of spiders. You're not afraid? Nope. No, are you... No. Do you like sports? Guess what? What? Everyone's afraid of shit! Everybody's afraid of sharks. No, do you do you play sports? Um, yes. What sports do you play? Um, hide. You play what? Hide. Oh yeah, and who do you play for? Um, hide. Hide Rovers. Yeah. Soccer club. Yeah. I played with them years ago. I got a medal for Hide Rovers. My years and years ago. Did you? Yeah. My brother got one as well. Did he? Oh, yeah. Very good. Now, who else didn't I meet yet now? Because we're waiting for. I got Keith, did I? I did, I got Mark, I got James, Jody, Lee, Crystal, Anna, Andrew. I didn't get Andrew. Hi, Andrew, what's your, what's your second name? I know. 
And where are you from? Dundee, Alright. What do you like? What music do you like? What groups do you like? Do you like Spice Girls, Boys on and that? Honey. Right. Do you follow soccer clubs? Do. He loves He loves what? He loves the Spice Girls. Alright. Nice to meet you. Everybody else, Dale, we met. We met I think we met everybody, did we so far this morning? Oh Kelly. Did I meet you, Kelly? Was I talking to you? Show me what Kelly has. She's got a watch. No, that's my watch. Oh, that's your watch. And you give her a loan of it. It's a lady and a tramp watch. And it's it's nine thirty two. That's wrong. It's it should it's ten thirty five. You'll have to put it on an hour. You forgot to put it on an hour. We'll get you put it on an hour. Isn't that a lovely watch? That's a lovely watch. Now we're gonna go up and have a chat with the teacher for a few seconds. And while the teacher's talking, will you stay quiet for me? And then we're going to get you all to sing one uh, class song. Do you, know, do you all know one song that you could sing together? Yeah. Now, before we go up and do that, let's have a look at these paintings. Now, who owns the first one up there? And, what, and uh, do you do this in art every day? Do you do art every day? Not every day. And every one of you have a painting hanging up there, have you? What? I made that. You made that one? With the big piece of green. That's why I want the big piece of green. And what's all the newspapers doing over there for? Limerick Leader, The Sun. Who can tell me about those? Who will tell me about all the newspapers? You what? We made them. And what are they for? Just to tell you about newspapers? Well, we hope you've enjoyed this edition of Dr. John's Diaries here at the Presentation School, Our Lady Queen of Peace in Janesborough. In the first programme we met the students of the Junior Infant School, Mrs Maloney's class, who entertained us there on part one. Join us in part two when we meet the senior girls of the school and the projects they laid on, plus the day that Crocodile Dundee's Animal Roadshow came to the school to give a lecture on pet care. All that in another edition of Dr John's Diaries here at the Presentation School in Our Lady Queen of Peace in Janesborough.